Today on the Barricade Guard Show, we are going to discuss four reasons to homeschool, some common objections, and how to get started on your homeschooling journey. If you stayed home and did nothing with your children but just stare into their eyes, that would be infinitely better than sending them to public schools. Okay, before you get too triggered and stop watching, just hear me out. First, that wasn't my line. That was a quote from Stephen Rummelsberg when he was on Pints with Aquinas back in May of 2022. Stephen is the executive director of the Seven Institutes at the Veritatis Splendor HQ Project, a senior fellow at the American Principles Project, a senior fellow at the Cardinal Newman Society, and he is on the Teacher Advisory Council at Sophia Institute Press for Teachers. So agree with him or not, this is someone who is bringing an insightful and educated opinion to the discussion. But if you want some good reasons to consider homeschooling, here are a few. Number one is time spent with your kids. Parents are, or at least they should be, the primary educators of their children. And these are your children's most formative years. Nobody will love your kids more than you do. And nobody else will be looking out for their best interests like you are. When you homeschool, you get to build an incredible bond and be there to watch their eyes light up when they make that project, finish that first book, or gain understanding of a new concept. Number two is personalization. Learning can be personalized, at least to some extent, to both interest and aptitude. You know your kids better than anyone else, and homeschooling allows you to provide additional challenges when your kids are excelling, or slow the pace and offer additional explanations when things just don't seem to click. You can also increase your child's interest in learning by letting them choose options for certain subjects and grade levels. Number three is curriculum. Would you prefer that your children receive a classical education rather than the 1619 project or the subliminal messaging of the woke teachers at your local public schools? When you homeschool, the choice is yours. You decide if your children learn actual history or revisionist history. You choose if your children learn factual biology and the theology of the body or gender theory and safe ways to hook up. Number four is flexibility. Want to plan a pilgrimage field trip? or take your kids to the March for Life without paperwork or having them miss something important in school? Need to shift or rearrange the schedule a bit this week to accommodate a family event? Homeschooling gives you the freedom to do this with minimal hassle. Speaking of minimal hassle, I'll give you one more bonus reason. I know it's been a few years now, but does anyone remember when schools were closed for months and parents were scrambling to figure out how to care for and educate their children? You know what makes that transition a lot easier? You guessed it, homeschooling. We were homeschooling when the schools closed, and while many were in a panic, we just kept homeschooling. At the end of the day, this really boils down to your vision and purpose of education. Yes, we want our children to be wise and intelligent, but our primary goal is to get them to heaven, not Harvard. We want to impart to them the knowledge and maturity needed to discern their vocation and live out God's plan for their lives. And at the same time, we want to minimize temptations to sin and protect them from deep wounds that kids should not have to experience. I'm not talking about the bumps and bruises in life that kids get from sports and nature hikes. I'm talking about protecting them from child predators, vicious bullying, and friends that would pressure and lead your kids into mortal sin. There will come a day when your child will embrace their vocation and battle the world, the flesh, and the devil. But right now they are in training. Your job is to prepare them for that spiritual warfare. Each child is unique and matures at their own pace. But I'll tell you this, your eight, nine, or 10 year old is not ready to go up against the full onslaught of today's woke culture. But John, what about socialization? Won't homeschooling make my kids weird and awkward? There are awkward kids in homeschool and public school. Awkward parents make awkward kids, not homeschooling. And there are plenty of opportunities to socialize and make friends at youth group, vacation Bible school, sports, co-ops, pray and play gatherings, and just getting together with other like-minded families in your area. And besides, I don't want my kids to be socialized by secular society. So does this mean that my kids can't go to college? If we homeschool, won't they have low grades and test scores? Homeschooled kids have a reputation for being responsible, disciplined, and knowing how to learn. And studies have shown that they score better than public school students on standardized academic achievement tests. Your child's post high school opportunities are not limited by homeschooling. But John, I couldn't homeschool even if I wanted to. I'm not qualified to teach all of these subjects. Most mature adults will have no issues teaching many subjects to their children. 
Teacher's guides and online resources are also very helpful for filling in knowledge gaps and providing explanations. And if you need a bit more assistance with math, science, or technology, tutors and online instructors are available. This is definitely not a show-stopping issue. And it might have the added benefit of helping you catch up on your US history, refresh your literary skills, or level up your Latin. But John, what about Catholic schools? Wouldn't they be a better option? There are some truly fantastic Catholic schools out there. And if you are blessed to live close to one and can afford it, that might be a great option for your family. However, not all Catholic schools are created equal, and some have more in common with public schools than you would hope. Are they using common core curriculum? Are the teachers faithful Catholics committed to handing on the truths of the faith? Are the other students a positive influence on your child? These are questions that are worth a serious investigation before making the investment. The main purpose of this video is to advocate for homeschooling, not to speak against Catholic schools. And I'm truly thankful that good, faithful Catholic schools do exist. If you think a Catholic school might be a good fit for your family, just do your homework. Check out the Cardinal Newman Society for recommendations and make sure you're getting what you think you're signing up for. One other thing I'd like to mention briefly is parents who find themselves in a situation where homeschooling is not an option due to finances, single parenting, or some other reason. If this is you, don't despair. Investigate the school choice options that are available to you, pay close attention to your children's behavior and habits, and pour yourself into them every chance that you get. All is not lost, but the battle will likely be a bit more uphill. Stay focused, connected, and love them like Jesus loves them. Okay, so you think you might want to try homeschooling, but you're feeling a bit overwhelmed? Thankfully, it's now easier than ever to get started. Options like Colby Academy, Seton Home Study, and Mother of Divine Grace all offer excellent programs and prepackaged curriculum to help you with your journey. We started off using Colby Academy, but are now using a combination of homeschool connections and course plans that we design ourselves. Catholic Heritage Curricula also offers tuition-free curriculum, and we have used them as well. Links to these resources are in the show notes below. One thing that you'll need to take into consideration when planning to homeschool is how to prudently incorporate the use of technology and internet-connected devices. More on that in the next episode. Still not convinced about homeschooling? Or did I not mention your favorite reason to homeschool? Let me know in the comments below. Are you on the fence about homeschooling but still have some questions? Need a little encouragement or reassurance? Message me below or send me a DM on Facebook and my wife and I would enjoy having a video chat to talk through whatever is on your mind. And don't worry, it would just be a friendly conversation. No gimmicks and we're not selling anything. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified when new episodes are available. You can also follow the Barricade Guard on Facebook, X, and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Until next time, fortify your soul, body, and family. Mm -hmm.